to death. Yes. Um, $500,000 to do a show. That okay. was the, what they were going to pay her. Uh, I don't know if it was like a one hour special or a full, like, you know, gig. Why are you? I'm not. Because you're going to join me. But oh, yeah. it was significantly lower than her male well, counterparts. Well, and Amy and, Schumer. And Amy Schumer. They offered her, ah. they offered Amy Schumer uh, $11 million. One hour special or a full, like. That's Sorry, guys, up. we got to turn that down. Yeah. Okay. So, um, anywho, so when you crunch the numbers, and so she, um, I just saw a post before while I was on my way over here. Uh, when you crunch the numbers and you look at what the the budget is for their movies and uh, and then the budget versus what it actually brought in, Monique, it was kicking Amy's ass at the box office. <laughs> and, <laughs> so uh, it's, it's kind of hard to ignore that. And then a lot of people think that Monique, Monique um, the way she's approaching it is too aggressive. But no, it's insulting. Like, it is insulting. insulting. Yeah. So it's like, but... How do you protest? It, it goes to, oh, so how do you want me to be angry? Or how do you want me to protest? Well, how people are saying you she could have taken the $500,000 and rolled with it and spit. No, it's you don't right. roll with it. If it's unfair, you don't it's unfair. Yeah, I agree. But see, that's the whole thing. People, uh, especially with certain demographics, and I'm not going to miss words, like black women and black stars in Hollywood are just pretty much taught or told that, oh, be grateful. Be grateful. Just be grateful. Yeah, I'm sure she was grateful, but once you look at the actual statistics of it all, and you know, it's that's unfair. Yeah, I just feel like you know she has she went for precious, precious. Thank you, and queens of comedy, and you know all of these amazing accolades. Yeah, she's highly decorated and should uh, be respected in the industry. No, right. Is it? Don't be insulting. And so I'm kind of off Netflix. Yeah, so. especially like um, in negotiation, you start off high and you negotiate low. They started off her low and expected her to just take it. No. Yeah. Well, girl, get your right. points. I respect your decision. Thank you for um, power to the artist. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we're asking. So we're gonna um, pick two, que well, three questions that we're going to answer. One for Morgan, one for Mariah, and one for Angina. And I want you to turn your question and you have the queen's name next to it so we know it's specifically. Yeah, so, yeah. so ask um, those questions. And make sure you guys tune in to UBN Radio um, um, Channel 1. Channel 1. Yeah, we'll be here every Tuesday. Um, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Sharp. 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 Right time. And this is also going to be available on iTunes. iTunes. And of course, we'll post it on our social media so you guys can listen to it over and over and over again. We rambled today because it was our first time. I know. I was excited, but it was fun. We had a lot to talk about. And it was fun. And you know what? We talked about shit. So I know. All right. So I have a question okay. from someone, and it is um, Who is your pick for top three of All Stars 3? That's for you. That's for me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to say Ben. Cause I love her. Yeah. Um, I do want to see Kennedy on the top three because she is an amazing <laughs> performer. And no matter how much I hate her, I will support her. And I want to see more of my girls on the top three. But she's an awful person, and so that's that. <laughs> so my top three would be Kennedy, Ben Delacreme. And Morgan McMichaels. Who are so, your top three? Um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to share. I'm going to do Kennedy. I'm going to do that one. I think Kennedy, Trixie, and maybe Chi Chi. And I'm not going to say Morgan just because she's her. And I'm intentionally doing it. I'm, I'm saying, no, and I know that you are, and I know that you love her. I'm doing it because season two was a long time ago. Yeah. And um, I would love for the younger generation and the younger fans to really see what newer generation queens can bring to the table. Yeah. And I so, worked for All Star uh, for All Star Two with Tatiana when they brought reached all the way back to uh, season two of uh, Drag Race, and uh, she made it pretty far. So I can't wait to see what Miss Morgan Michael does. There is um, I came to the question for you, Morgan. Okay, Morgan. With being older than the majority of the girls on All Stars <laughs> Three, what do you think you'll do differently? Now, do you mean older, like in age? No, I think they mean like an older season, right? Um, Christian, Christian is that right? Christian, or, um, what do you, with being uh, older than the majority of the girls, who you're talking about? Age? For about older season, let's go with that. Let's just older season, yeah. Let's do that. 
Well, I really can't answer that. You're just gonna have to watch and see. Oh, that you're gonna have to watch and see. But yeah, I yeah, have to answer another question because. I can't I spill it. You can't. I can't. Spill I, can't. It. I couldn't possibly tell you. You just have to be glued to your TVs every Thursday. So, Morgan, are are you hosting any parties anywhere? And I am actually going to be out of town quite a bit. I'm doing, doing different things. things. Well, for January twenty fifth. Yeah. Oh no! Actually, she has an amazing. Um, unfortunately, she's not going to be around because she has this amazing tour. Can we talk about that? Because I, I'm really jealous. Yeah, it's called the Queens of the Cops tour. Um, and it premieres in Boise, Idaho this Thursday. But I'm not going to be there. What? I know. I missed that one. I had a. Uh, oh, you had something else. I had something that I couldn't turn down. Ah. Uh, and I'm going to be at Sundance. Uh, oh, I'm at Sundance. Dang. So. That's congrats. amazing. Are you going to be hosting a weekly party at um, Flaming Saddles in West Hollywood Fun. every Fun. Thursday? So check us out. And what about you, Mariah? What are you doing? Uh, I'm hosting a weekly show. Uh, I mean, a uh, weekly drag bingo at, at 33 Taps in Silver Lake. And this, oh. yeah, this week for the premiere, I have my season three sister, Mila Luzon, joining me. Oh, Queen of the Pineapple Dress. So this is going to be fun. We start bingo at 7, and then we watch the show at 8. And it's cocktails and fun for everybody. Amazing. But, because I have a question, Morgan. Were you, who were you surprised to see in the cast, and who were you not surprised to see? Um, That's a good one. Who was I surprised to see? I don't think I was surprised to see any of the girls because they all have made such an impact, like to me on social media. And when we, you know, come on, you're being nice. Who who walked in and you're like, why? None of them. Okay. Because I think they all deliver something really heavy okay. in their own way. Who was I surprised not to see both of you? Of course. Um, I would have liked to have seen maybe someone from season, someone else from season nine, like Trinity Taylor, Shea Coulee, someone that you know, Peppermint. Was there anyone from season nine? Yeah, Asha. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm surprised that Valentina was not there. Oh, oh. I didn't know Valentina Brown. Oh, controversial. Oh, con I can't even say it. Controversial queen. In English, I can't say it. Controversial. 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 Yeah. Sure, sure. Um, actually, I'm, I agree. I'm very surprised not to see one of those two on there. So. Okay, who has a question from we Mariah? Need, yeah, we need a question from Mariah. Anybody? Oh, Uh-oh. Oh, Mariah, here's one. Oh, this, they just want to know where you're hosting on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, 33 Taps in Silver Lake. Make, Make sure you call, call for reservations because we're always packed. Unpin that damn comment. Oh, sorry. I'm unpinning it. Sorry. You're so tech savvy. Okay. What is a pinned comment? Why well, can't we see Mariah? There you go. Oh, sorry. She wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't included. No. All right. We've got about five minutes left. Someone asked Mariah a damn question. And somebody, nobody please. likes you. How do you resuscitate? <laughs> <laughs> what with her? Okay. Shit. She's got that session. Oh my god. All right. So, <laughs> okay. Um, if there's no more questions, we are going to. Why do you, Mariah? Do you still hate that pineapple dress? You know what? She's actually the, the pineapple dress has evolved, and she's actually added stones to it, so it's Ooh, not just glitter. glitter. <laughs> and it has bigger. Yes, it looked good. She wore it at the season. Was it nine? I mean, I mean finale. She wore it. Oh, for, for the, the runway. Run, for yeah, the, the runway. Run, when the queen stormed the stage with her fashion, she brought it back out one more time, and it had upgrades done to it. So yes, it gets a thumbs up. Cute. Okay, okay one last question from Mariah. What is um, your favorite song to hear? Oh, uh, are you there? Her favorite song to perform is "Nice to You" by Michelle. <laughs> what is your well, favorite? The, song the thing is, is like it's really hard to answer this question because obviously we love different things. We want to bring different things on stage. Well, instead but of, instead of what your favorite song to perform is, what's your favorite song like that you're listening to right now? Okay, okay. I'll do two. My favorite slow song now that I love to do about I love to do a ballad is "I Miss You" by Adele. Okay, I love that one. It's so intense. And then uh, it's not a new song, but it's Anastasia. I'm out of love. Oh. Oh, I have to really like that song. I performed at her mom's birthday party. Oh, I'm with sweet. Michelle Visage yeah. and Pandora Box. I think that's amazing. Well, yeah, uh, what about you? Okay, what is your favorite song to do? And 
right now? Listen to. Well, um, I need Ariana Grande to come up, come out with a new album, <laughs> because I have done every song in all the three albums that she has. So, um, but currently I am obsessed with Dua Lipa. Oh, new rules. Yes. Yeah, but not beyond new rules. If you guys wanna listen to something really entertaining and great, please, um, I would say download Dua. Nothing is bad in that album. What about you, Morgan? The song to perform to perform right, right now, I think, uh, is I'm, I'm doing Barbarella because I was on Watch, Watch What Happens Live, Live with Jane Fonda, and I did the Barbarella. Look, so I'm doing whole Barbarella number, and it's uh, Shiny Toy Guns. It's a remake of Peter Schilling's uh, Major Tom. So that's my favorite thing to perform. But my favorite song to listen to right now is Kylie Minogue's brand new one. It just released. There's it's one. Loop. It's called Dancing. Off her new album Golden, which is available. On uh, pre-order. Um, I'm Seth. You know I love Kylie to death. So that's what I'm listening to, Dancing by Kylie. Oh, that's so sickening. Well, at this time, we're going to give another shout out to our sponsors for today, which is Mickey's in West Hollywood. So every Monday night, they have the show, legendary showgirls drag review. And um, every Tuesday, uh, hosted by Raven, Rob twice, and Morgan. And Morgan. And when they are doing stuff, I post it as well. Um, and Mariah is the bartender. And, the, <laughs> and she's propping up the She's bar. actually the consumer. And the bartender. And, and the, the bartender. The <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Mickey's. And uh, every Tuesday, we have So You Think You Can Lip Sync, uh, hosted by moi, Anjana, and it's basically a lip sync battle at a bar. And if you want to win $100 cash tax-free, Come join us. And box her. And well, you don't even need to be in drag. They no, have no, no, costumes no. and wigs. They have things provided for you. Absolutely. You guys can just come and or show up. And shut it down. Show up, show out, and lip sync for your life. Win 100 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And, and they, they have, have things going, going on all throughout the week, of course. And they yeah. have special events. And you, you can, can find all the most fantastic, fabulous RuPaul's Drag Race girls there on Mondays for Showgirls. So make sure you go to Mickey's.com and uh, keep up with their calendar because we always have wonderful surprises going on. Yeah, yeah. and you know what? what? Um, make sure you follow Mariah Paris Lesiaga at Mug for Days. That's on Instagram, Twitter. Is it Mug for Days? Not Mug, right? I guess, I guess it's just like M E G number four D A Y Z because I had to be different. <laughs> always. Always I, I, it's, it, I'm sorry. Her her screen tag is really funny because I always watch her do her makeup and she literally does her mugs in minutes. So I've been calling her mug in minutes. And like seriously, she will show up at the bar 15 minutes before the show and she'll have a beautiful face on. You realize she's been there for about four hours previously. But, uh, right, yeah, what I meant is she was time. drinking for three hours and 45 minutes and then 15 minutes before the show, she's like, hey. Um, <laughs> follow me at Andrina O N G I N A and Miss Morgan McMichaels. Um, Instagram, Facebook, of course, Morgan McMichaels. Um, and on Twitter, it's Morgan McMichael because there's no group they asked. So bastards. So sure. But follow us. Send us some questions. Send us things we we want to talk about. Yeah. So next week we're gonna be back at four o'clock on Tuesday. And we'll be more well-rounded next week. Yeah. We'll, 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 this is the first time. Good. Yeah. And, and send us feedback. Like, um, if there's things that we can cover or things. Get rid of our giant. I know. <laughs> Well, just Who be else is gonna be an O? No, we can't. Or Nisha, bitch. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she really has more interesting things to say. Too. Um, but yes, yeah, thank you guys for joining us here on UBN Radio uh, Channel One, of course. Um, every Tuesday at four o'clock, and we'll be Instagramming it and Facebooking it, and you can catch I'm to tune in. All right, so UBNRadio.com Channel One, four o'clock Tuesdays for what about that? Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. And don't forget to tune in VH1 yes. to January see 20. the brand new episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 3. And we will talk about the first episode next week. Yeah. Next uh, Tuesday, we'll get all the juice from what you saw. And uh, remember, it doesn't matter who you love or how you love, just simply that you love, and we love you. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Way to go.